guys, welcome back. And today I have a special treat for us. I know like me, many of you are fans of the restaurant Chipotle and their beef called barbacoa. So I've got a copycat for you on that. So watch to the end of this because I'm gonna show you how to make this very, very easily at home. Now in my house, we just call it Mexican shredded beef, but it's just like the barbacoa at Chipotle. All right, so we're gonna start with a skillet that is on medium high, and we have a beautiful chuck roast here. You wanna start with a nicely marbled, you see that? Nicely marbled, but it doesn't have a lot of fat around it. So we're going to make sure that that is good and patted dry because in order to get a nice sear on that beef, we need to make sure that it's good and dry. Hey guys, and remember, if you like these copycat videos, make sure that you give me a like, leave me a comment that you'd like to see more of those, okay? because I know that's a, a lot of fun to do, and it's really cool whenever you can take a recipe from uh, somewhere out and duplicate that at home. So we're loving doing that for you. All right, this is good and patted dry. My skillet is nice and hot. Now, we're gonna move that just for a moment because before we sear this off, we need to stud our roast. And you're thinking, stud the roast. What is she doing? Garlic cloves. All right, these are a little bit thicker than what I need for in here. So, we're gonna slice our garlic cloves in half. I saw this technique years ago by Emeril Lagasse, and I thought, oh my word, that is so cool. So you get the flavor all down through your roast or whatever it is that you're cooking, right? So cool. All right, and you just poke it in there really good, like that. See, so it looks like that. All right, now, pan on the pretty good and hot heat olive oil, just a little bit. Just a drizzle in there. Roll that around the pan. You can tell it's nice and hot already. Now we're not gonna season this roast yet, okay? Now, while this is getting a beautiful sear on it, we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients ready. I'm gonna take two medium-sized tomatoes, and we're just gonna give them a rough chop. Our jalapeno, and we're going to leave the seeds in because I want a little bit of heat for this. Okay. We're going to flip our roast. Look at that, guys. See that beautiful sear on there, that crust? That's exactly what you want. Okay, now you notice we've got the two big sides done, and see that? Look how gorgeous. Now, I'm going to rotate this and just hold it to sear off the sides even. Can you see me through the smoke? <laughs> All right. Now, look at that gorgeous thing. Now, we're going to put the seasonings on our roast. I didn't want to do that before doing that heavy sear because I did not want to burn the seasonings. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our seasonings. And of course we have salt. Salt, fresh cracked pepper. 
garlic powder, a little bit. I know we've got all that garlic in there, but we want all of the meat to have that good flavor. A little bit of onion powder, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of chili powder. And we're going to do the other side. At Chipotle, I know that they are fans of the Chipotle seasoning, that Chipotle powder, ground Chipotle. We in our house, sometimes I do the Chipotle, sometimes I don't. Okay, we've got our crock pot ready and it is hot, hot, hot. So into that goes our beautiful seasoned roast. Oh yes, good sizzle. And we don't want to waste that, so we're just gonna put our seasonings in there. Now, in goes our veg. Okay, and one small to medium sized onion, guys, again, on a rough chop, okay? I am using my smaller crock pot on purpose because I do not want a lot of room around my roast, okay? So I'm just tucking in some of that veg around the sides. That just a little green chili. See this mild green chilies? That is going in there as well. On goes the lid, and this is hot. Let me see if I can get this over here. There we go, on. And it's as simple as that. We're gonna let that go for about four to five hours. We're gonna start it on high. We're gonna check that after about two to two and a half hours and see if it's ready to go down on low. All right, guys, now to go along with our barbacoa or our Mexican shredded beef, I want to show you, and I'm so excited about this because I've been wanting to show you guys this for a while, how to do homemade tacos. Now, we're going from the corn tortilla shell that you buy in the store, in the bags, on the shelf, okay? Not making them in the press, okay? But from the store-bought corn tortilla shells, I'm going to show you how to make tacos. And guys, they're going to blow those box, you know those those things that are already like that shape and they're in the cardboard box and you pull them out and they taste like cardboard. Don't ever get those again, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. All right. Skillet or cast iron, if you've got that, fine. Canola oil is what I like to use, but you can use vegetable oil, peanut oil, whatever. Okay. So now, into that skillet goes about, you want it a good bit deep, all right? So about that much, uh, that depth on your oil. I've got mine on medium high. We may need to adjust that later, but we, are, we want to get that oil nice and hot to get it going. Now, you also notice I have everything in place. My tongs are in place. My corn tortilla shells are out in room temperature. You can do them cold, but they work best at room temp. Also, nice little hack here for you. Loaf pan lined with paper towel. Have that ready, and I'm going to show you why. And my salt to salt them when they come out, okay? Now, you can check your oil to see if it's ready by dipping the edge of your corn tortilla shell in there. If it begins to sizzle, it's ready to go, all right? Now, in we go. Very carefully. Remember, guys, don't get in a hurry. Whenever you're working with hot oil, don't get in a hurry. It's okay. Let that cook a little bit on the one side and then give it a turn. You see it's already beginning to color. And I turned my heat down just a little bit, so we're at about medium now after that got nice and hot for us. All right, now Pressing again, press the one side against the bottom of the skillet and just fold that over with your tongs. If you want to get the other side even like that, just grab, 
Grab it like that on the other side of the shell. And there you go. Tiny bit of salt. Here we go. Next one. In. those were you guys now look at fluffy oh my goodness sakes. so let's fill these with some barbacoa okay guys our barbacoa has been on in the crock pot on high for about four hours and as you can see all of that beautiful veg in there has broken down and it is just shredding apart for us look at that how wonderful Okay guys, now we've got our corn tortilla shell fresh made and we're going to load this. You can use a flour tortilla or whatever, but we're just going to do the street taco style, okay? So our barbacoa is in there, a little bit of the most fantastic condiment in the world, pico de gallo, and our fresh made salsa verde. If you haven't seen that video on how to make that, make sure you check that out. Woo. We got our taco made. You know it's time to taste this bad boy. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just grab a big old napkin or a roll of paper towel. And tuck into it just like that, you guys. Mmm. You, you gotta try this. When you do, leave me a comment. Tell me how you liked it. Oh, I can't even imagine you won't. But also make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, and check out all of our other videos for the celebration of Cinco de Mayo. And we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.